Hey, what's up guys? So I know most of the time I make videos where I'm just joking around and I'm not really that serious, but today's video is going to be highly, highly serious, and if you laugh at this video, I'm going to fucking sue you. But today I'm going to be talking about something that I'm very, very passionate about. Very passionate about. And that's telling someone they're gay over the internet. Oh, I mean, sorry, uh, cyberbullying. Please, Leafy, that's a stupid topic. If you're getting cyberbullied, why don't you just close the computer screen, huh? Why don't you just do that? Shut the fuck up. Have you ever had someone tell you you're gay while you're playing a game of CSGO? It hurts. Has someone ever told you that they fucked your mom while playing a game of Call of Duty? It hurts. Has anyone ever literally fucked your mom after playing a game of Call of Duty? It hurts. It re it re actually, that was pretty fucked up. But the idea of cyberbullying as a whole has really taken off these past few years. Like, they even have fucking assemblies now at your school telling people that, Oh, guys, uh, calling someone gay over the internet is, is actually pretty bad. D d don't, do don't do that shit. Uh, but yeah, guys, it it's really wrong. L look, look at this guy. He fucking killed himself, huh? If you, sell if you say someone's gay, I mean, th 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 they could literally kill themselves. I mean, if you say anything, you th they could literally kill themselves. Just, I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm going to kill myself right now. And don't get me wrong, there are some cases where cyberbullying really does get intense and people actually kill themselves over it. And that's definitely fucked up. But I mean, at this point in time, it's honestly just getting ridiculous. Like, it's in schools everywhere, and the amount of stupid fucking short films about cyberbullying just makes me cringe. It makes my skin crawl. It makes me want to fucking kill myself. Okay, not really. Oh, God. I know I just offended some guy. Oh, my, you shouldn't joke about suicide, you asshole. How about, how, how, how about you fucking cut your wrist? But today, we're going to be watching one of the best short films about cyberbullying. Because of of course, we all need a short film to tell us that calling someone a retard over the internet is wrong, right? Right, guys? Right? But without further ado, guys, grab out your notes and get ready to learn something about cyberbullying today and how, how it can actually make someone's day bad or something. I don't, I don't know. Just fucking play the video. Well, dude, I really love this connectivity vibe they're giving you, right? Like, the, the, the person signing into Facebook, like, holy shit, I've signed into Facebook. Holy shit, that person could be me. Holy shit, holy shit, it's so relatable. It, it, the, 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 I could be, so, I, I, could, I could be bullied, dude. This is one of those carefully planned out, methodical movies where every single scene has a bigger meaning behind it, okay? So like this person that just said, Oh yeah, you should add a picture of yourself as your profile picture. She's the fucking devil, dude. Honestly though, I don't get what they're trying to say with this. Like, you shouldn't add a profile picture? Like, I mean, it's pretty obvious that this chick is gonna get bullied, so I don't get what they're trying to say. Like, if you add the profile picture, you're gonna get bullied, bitch. That's why you should always use the anime characters, huh? Naruto is my profile picture. If you don't have Naruto, you're gonna get bullied, bitch. <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? Wow, she she uploaded a picture of herself. What a fucking idiot. What what is she trying to get bullied, huh? Uploading a picture of yourself to Facebook is like dropping the soap in prison, spreading your ass cheeks and saying, Boys. It's lunchtime. Ha ha ha. What is this fucking intense ass music? Am I the only one that thought that so far? Like, that she's just checking Facebook and it's like this fucking Final Fantasy Kingdom Hearts 2 ass music. Everybody is dead but me. And I'm just walking around lonely in this mist of fog. Like... <laughs> She's checking Facebook, dude. Uh, Leafy, there's intense music because she's about to get bullied, you insensitive fucking prick. <laughs> what? Fuck it. <laughs> Who is this bitch? Is she like fucking YouTuber? Is this Sam Pepper? Like she just gets up to get a glass of water, comes back, and there's like a billion people saying, "Kill yourself, pussy." Like, I, 
The video almost has a million views and like fucking 10,000 likes. I'm trying to like picture who like watches this and just like really relates with this part. Like, oh my god, I went to get a glass of water one time and I came back and someone called me a faggot. These people should not exist. Alright, dude, maybe I'm being too much of an asshole. Let's see what these people are calling her. And by people, I'm talking about these 10 billion people that just came out of nowhere. Came out of fucking Narnia. Like, she just barely made her Facebook account. And just barely uploaded a profile and picture. And now she's turned into fucking Sam Pepper. Like, it's really realistic, guys. This is just, this is just quality. You ugly cow. Wow, she, she, she just got wrecked. Ew, no one will ever like you, you freak. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna puke. Wow, if this is the shit that's gonna make her kill herself, I couldn't even imagine what she would do in a CSGO game. She'd probably just fucking fling herself out of her window like a banana peel. And that's it, guys. The video ends. Can you fucking imagine? It just- That's it guys, it's fucking over. Time to go home. It's fucking it. You just close the computer screen and it's done. Nah, dude, we need some fucking crazy, dramatic, drama alert, basher versus crying. At least I got to fuck her in the ass, Keemstar shit. Because if it just ends with her blocking a few people, then nobody cares, dude. Nobody fucking cares. Lara, you okay? No, mom, it's okay. I'm just getting cyber bullied a little bit. It's not a big deal. I mean, I'm just on the verge of fucking killing myself. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just doing homework. Okay. This is the part that someone comments, Leafy. This video is not cool. You're being so insensitive. You're making fun of someone that's getting cyberbullied. You're exactly what's wrong with humanity, Leafy. You got no soul. I can hear it in your voice. Every time you speak, you're speaking out of desperation and sadness. You fuck! Laura Hills is such a fatty. Ew. Holy shit. Holy shit. Cyber bullies. Cy Cyber bully police. Help. <laughs> what? She just fucking feels the need to just write ugly like <laughs> that. This is the climax. This is really gonna be the climax right now. Why don't you just have her fucking fucking try to kill herself or something? This is really gonna be it. Oh my god. Well, everybody, get your radiation suits on and roll the MLG music. fucking leaves it there she just leaves it there dude <laughs> like the next person that goes into that bathroom is just gonna see ugly stupid faggot and all this other shit and they're gonna think that they're getting bullied dude honestly dude i don't i don't fucking get youtube anymore after seeing this video this video has over a million views or i think it's around a million views right maybe a little bit less and it has like ten thousand likes uh, 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 what has the YouTube platform become? Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? <laughs> Guys, stop fucking laughing. It's not funny. This is what happens when you leave a negative comment on YouTube. This is what happens when you say I look like a fucking uh, a pine cone, okay? This is me when you call me a grapefruit.
And that's the end of the video, man. After this, she ran away, moved to China, Singapore, and became the legendary salesman known as the Dorito Marketer. No, but this is actually pretty much the end of the video. I mean, there was some like emotional touching scene right after this, but it honestly deserves a health warning because there's too much cringe. It will hurt your soul. It will hurt you as a person. It will hurt you psychologically. And it's, it's, you know what? You don't believe me? Just play it. Dude, it's too bad. It, 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 I'm sorry to everybody that is no longer with us because of the cringe overload. I'm, I'm very sorry. Rest in peace, everybody. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, it's your lucky day because for every single person that likes this video, they will be receiving their own private island. Not a scam at all. I have uh, billions of islands that I can just give away to people. And yeah, th this, is, this isn't a fucking scam. Also, DJ Kelly will also visit your island every five days. Never give up. Never surrender. Jokes aside though guys, thank you for all the support you guys are just killing it recently and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and don't forget that if anyone ever tries to cyber bully you, just uh, fight them in real life. <laughs> See ya. It's just me and my niggas, liquor and a couple bad girls, living in this fucking mad world, with no fear for the tears, it's a fear niggas here. Oh, so you guys think it's a joke to cyber bully people, huh? Huh? Well, guess what? I'm gonna cyber bully you then, huh? How you like that? They reveal when I'm coming back, oh, sweatshirt. Yes, sir, this is life and it gets worse. But you always come back from the depths, care. And if somebody wanna hold me back, I'm gonna eat him like Lester. Let's work, cause I'm coming with the fear of God. Not trying to be something that is clear, I'm not. I'm just trying to get the whole world.